Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Wolf Redeemed and today you can see that it's snowing out and I am really not a big fan of snow, not particularly. And I don't like shoveling, so shoveling is not my thing. <laughs> so uh, I just wanna read some scripture and since it's snowing, I wanna talk about a little bit about it <clears throat> because there's some scripture out there that talks about that our sins are as white as snow. So. Uh, before I start that, um, you know, I want to uh, just say that we're supposed to be getting snow well, today and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we're probably going to get a lot. Um, but before we start, I just want to uh, uh, say a quick prayer and uh, I just want to read a, a couple of scriptures. And uh, so let's, let's begin. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord, and we just thank you for all that you do in our lives. Father, I just pray that uh, as I come to bring this word, that uh, you guide me and you lead me through this, Father, that you give me the right words to say. And uh, Lord, we just thank you for who you are, and we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, and for what he has done for us. And uh, Father, we just give you all the praise, glory, and honor, and we just thank you for waking us all up uh, to praise, worship, and lift your name on high. And we just, uh, we love you, and we thank you for every day that we uh, uh, come to you in prayer. Father, I just pray that as I tell this word, Father, that, um, that you come to strengthen our armor and that you strengthen all of us, that you come to work and speak through us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. So as you see, again, you know, it is, it is snowing out. It's very beautiful. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of snow, but there is some scripture that talks about uh, how our sins are white as snow. And it's in Isaiah uh, 1.18, and it says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Now, there, th th there's a lot that's going on right now. And, you know, e even though that we see that, you know, there's, you know, that, that we see that there is, you know, a lot of people being angry. There's a lot of, you know, you know, there's a lot of people that do things in sin. <clears throat> but it's not too late to turn to the Lord and ask for forgiveness. And, um, you know, and, and really it says for the description that um, it says, in another scripture uh, for Isaiah 115 and it says when you spread out your hands in prayer I will hide my eyes from you even if you offer many prayers I will not listen your hands are full of blood now here's here's some description on it how bad is too bad do you step over the line so there's no chance of turning back? When you take the family's car and wreck it, when you try that new drug, okay, so when you try that new drug and find yourself that you're hooked. See, when you flunk out of school, hey, it's best not to take any of those steps. But even if you have, it's never too late. God cried out a sinful Judah. You know, he, he cried out to a sinful Judah. There you go. Whose hands were full of blood and urged them to change. Though your sins are like scarlet, God promised they shall be as white as snow. So the biggest thing here is don't give up. It's not too late to experience God's forgiveness and to change see when we go through things in, in our lives and we come to see that you know we, we see people fighting on we see people arguing with each other and for what it is never too late to change your ways it is never too late to go to God in prayer you have time you have time to do it. 
Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until next month. Don't wait until a couple of weeks, few weeks, or next year. You do it now. The time for salvation is right now. <laughs> well, as you know, we're living in the end times. And it said, and I'm going to repeat this part, God cried out to a sinful Judah whose hands were full of blood. But yet when we take a look at that and we go to 118 of Isaiah, our sins are white as snow. That means we have to go to Christ. Let's go to Christ. Let's give all that up. Let's lay all that down at his feet. Let's let him take over. But see, when you do that, when you do that, you need to show the Lord, hey, I'm serious about this. I need to change my ways. It's like how, how you know, it, it was said, if you take out, you know, the family's car and you wreck it. Or you get addicted to a new drug. Those are addictions. See, you know, and, and, and when I say taking out a family's car, it's taking it without asking or permission. That's not a good thing. But see, when you go to God in prayer and ask him for his forgiveness and ask him to change you, that's the best thing. Go to him in prayer. Let him know that you are sorry for all the sin that you've committed. You go to him. And see, all your sins will be as white as snow. It's snowing out. So however many of you out there that are dealing with things that, that you have no idea on, on how to, to handle or how, how to take care of it, go to God in prayer. That's the answer. Go to his word, read his word, and then go to God in prayer. That's the biggest thing that you can do. That'll be the biggest change of your life. Your sins will be as white as snow. God bless. And I pray that, you know, this word has reached out to a lot of you. I pray that you are blessed by that word. And we will see you in the next video. God bless. Have a blessed day. And now that it's November and it's, it'll be Thanksgiving, I pray that everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving ahead. God bless. Bless every single one of you. And may God bless and keep you. Wolf redeemed. Out.